Hi, I'm Grace, and this is me here on one of my IG stories. I originally shared the process of this project as it happened and saved it to my IG story highlight since it frankly took a lot longer than anticipated with the back and forth, the trial and errors, and multiple revisions. <laughs> Given that this video consists of a lot of sped up footage where I'm sure most of it will end up cut out, it won't accurately go into the amount of effort that was made to essentially cut out a couple of cardboard blocks. With that said, here's just me verbally justifying that indeed a lot of effort was put into every step of the process and it's not gonna go unnoticed or forgotten. Anyway, let's get into why did I decide to undertake such a large project in the first place to create an entire set of drafting blocks? Well, firstly, with the current state of things, there's really no harm in choosing to put my energy into a project that would purposely confine me to the shelter of home. Social distancing reasons aside, when it comes to designing clothes, drafting is one of the fundamental methods and is my preferred choice. Then there's also the fact that my personal bodice blocks are in need of an update, and even though I still have the standard sized measurement blocks from university that I could go with, I wanted to go the extra mile to create all my own blocks from scratch and have them be tailored to my proportions. That way it'll always be the right fit and I successfully manage to not only teach myself but brush up on some additional albeit fundamental pattern making skills. Anyway, to start with, I wanted to create the essential blocks. So in this set, there are the front and back bodice blocks, the tops, the skirt blocks, the pant or trouser blocks, and the sleeve blocks. Rightfully, there should just be one sleeve block since it accounts for the entire armhole, but I'm currently testing out two different methods. Speaking of which, I drafted my blocks using the instructions from the book Pattern Making for Fashion Design by Helen Joseph Armstrong. It's the fifth edition and it was the textbook we used in college. As for the other method I used to draft sleeves, I learned it from my lecturer. Now, the book does use imperial measurements, but being more familiar and comfortable with metric for precision and accuracy's sake, I went ahead and converted all the instructional measurements from inches to centimeters to prep. I also jotted down my measurements and labeled the steps just so I could work a bit more smoothly. Then, when it came to drafting, I'd go off based on the visual cues. That way, I wouldn't have to break down every single line and input my measurements as I go along. For each block, I drafted out a master plan, which is basically the blueprint to everything I'm doing, so all changes and corrections would be made on the working plan before moving on. The next step was tracing out the pattern pieces in order to make a toile or mock-up to test the fit, then I'd make amendments to every step mentioned so far, and repeat the entire process for each article before transferring the finished pattern to the cardboard and cut out the blocks. I'll admit the bodice blocks and then consequently the sleeves were the most challenging and required multiple revisions due to fit issues and measurement inaccuracies. I honestly went through two front bodices, three back bodices, and three sleeves per method, so six in total. Meanwhile, the skirt and pant blocks were perfectly fine post-fitting since the amendments were minor. Since I time-lapsed all my footage to speed up the slow-moving process, I didn't get to capture every little intricacy because I needed to place my phone at a distance as to not interfere while I'm working. There are a lot of moving parts when it comes to pattern making and sewing, so I'm trying to figure out and balance giving my full attention and focus to the task at hand and recording. For instance, what you might not notice or won't see on camera is how I'd utilize the different drafting rulers and other tools from drawing out clean even lines that are at the right angle, make my markings, notches, and seam allowances, the sewing details and fitting, calculating and distributing measurements, the formulations involved to draft certain parts, the matching of measurements, etc, etc. And considering how fine the line work is from the pencil, it doesn't exactly capture very well on camera, although though it is legible to me in person, so that's what counts. However, in the end, despite the multiple trials, hurdles, and careless mistakes on my part, I'll cut it short and say it was all worth it to achieve the perfect fit and clean edge blocks. And I'm not quite done yet, actually. There are a few variations on these blocks that I aim to make, but I figured I'd give myself the short break to put this video up before continuing. Even once all the blocks are done, the real test will be how well they work when I'm using them to actually draft future projects. I hope you appreciate and enjoy the video and perhaps come out of this with a stronger and deeper appreciation for us mere mortals in the creative field, just, you know, trying to get by. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.